to bake in. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas! Today we're going to be traveling to. Yeah! Canada! The land of maple syrup and beavers, Drake, Celine Dion, and people who say sorry a little bit too much. The recipe we're going to be inspired by today is the butter tart. My favorite tiny, tiny, tiny little tart, full of sweetness and absolutely delicious. But first, I need to speak to my really good friend Jen to talk all about butter tarts. Hey Jen. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good, how are Merry you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm actually calling you in Canada, in Victoria. So I am doing a dessert with butter tarts, but I'd like to know a little bit more about them. So I'm hoping you can tell me what a butter tart actually is. Kind of what it sounds like. <laughs> Small tart base, and actually you'll get a lot of argument just about what the base is. Okay. Butter and lard definitely makes the best pastry. And then the filling is about the texture. Okay. So kind of basic ingredients. We have our, you know, butter, sugar, eggs, definitely brown sugar. I think the iconic Canadian part probably comes in with maple syrup. Yeah. Um, the little bit of vinegar and cooked just until it's gelled. So it's got that ooey gooey slight pull to it. What do you put in yours? So I go naked. But I, I can definitely get behind raisins. Yeah? I'm a raisin girl. Okay. Yeah. Do you know the history of a butter tart or kind of how it became Canadian? It's a good question because it's definitely more of an Eastern Canada dessert. Okay. In Ontario, I think it's the butter tart capital of Canada. Yes. And I know they have a million different bake-offs and pie shops. Yeah. That kind of thing. Any kind of history we really started on the East Coast of Canada. So that's where... That's where we started recording everything and handing it down and handing the recipes down. So, Jen, what I've decided to do today to kind of honor the butter tart and bring it into a Christmas celebration is to make a butter tart cake. I'm doing a Christmas spiced cake with a bit of a twist, a really nice butter tart filling with pecans, and an ode to maple syrup, a maple syrup icing to cover the whole thing and just decorate it as much as I can with all the <laughs> Canadian and Christmassy things. So, what do you think? That sounds delicious. Cool. Well, thanks so much for um, all the information. I got to get started because I got a few components to go. And uh, I'll chat to you soon, Jen. Thank you. Take care. You. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. With all that awesome information I've just got from Jen, it is time to start baking my butter tart Christmas cake. Let's get started. And you will need flour, butter, sugar, milk, egg whites, baking powder, baking soda, salt, ground cardamom, ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, and vanilla. First up, we need to make our Christmas spiced cake batter. So for that, we're gonna need softened butter, some granulated sugar, and we're going to cream this, to <laughs> cream this together in the mixer. And if you don't have a mixer, again, you can just do this with a hand mixer or just use your arm strength and make sure it gets really light and fluffy. Oh, start slow. So I'm gonna just turn it up a little bit so I can whip it that much more. And you can already see that it's getting lighter in color and a little bit more fluffy. All right. So you can see it has changed color. It is quite a bit lighter now. Because I'm making a white cake, I'm only using the egg whites. I'm only using the egg whites. And I'm also gonna add some vanilla and give that a mix. And it might look like it gets curdled, but that is okay. And just mix this on low for about 20 to 30 seconds. Perfect. All mixed together. And now for the flour. So I've got plain all-purpose flour here. And to the flour, we're gonna add all of the spices and the leaveners. So we've got baking powder, baking soda, salt, ground cinnamon, some nutmeg, and my favorite spice, cardamom, which is my twist on Christmas spice, but if you don't like cardamom, you can completely leave it out. You can even add a little bit of allspice if you like. And just give this a whisk together to combine into the flour. What we're gonna do is add the flour in thirds. Mix that to combine. I'm gonna alternate it with milk. So I'm gonna add half of my milk, and now another third of the flour. And we're doing this because there's a lot of fat in this recipe from the butter. And what will happen is the milk will be evenly distributed through the cake batter because it'll be attaching itself to that flour. 
And then again, once that's incorporated, I'm adding my milk in, the rest of it. It smells like Christmas. That nutmeg and cinnamon for me really does it. Perfect. Ready and combined. And I'm just finishing off with my spatula because there is a little bit of flour around the edge and I just want to make sure to incorporate that. Look at that. Nice thick cake batter. I've got three eight inch cake tins here that I've just lined with parchment paper, brushed with butter and dusted with flour so that the cakes will come out really easily from the oven. So I'm just gonna divide it evenly between these cake tins. And you can use a scale, you can use an ice cream scoop to put your batter in. I'm just gonna eyeball these and then just flatten it out. Make sure that it is even across. My tummy is rumbling because all I'm smelling is cake. I love cake batter too. Next up, there are quite a few air bubbles that are in this cake batter. Just gonna smack them. And you can see some air bubbles are coming up. You can even bang it. Sorry guys. I'm so sorry about that. People who say sorry a little bit too much. And that's it. They are ready to go in the oven, 180 for about 30 to 35 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean and they're nice and golden brown on top. So I'm just gonna put these in the oven. You will need brown sugar, corn syrup, vanilla, lemon juice, salt, eggs, maple syrup, butter, and toasted pecan. Now for the main ingredient, the butter tart filling. In a pan, we're going to melt some butter, and we're gonna add all of our sugars as well. So we've got brown sugar, corn syrup, the Canadian maple syrup, and please use real Canadian maple syrup. No knockoffs allowed. The real deal only. Have you guys heard about the, the big maple syrup heist that happened in Quebec? Crazy. Two, 220 million or something dollars worth of maple syrup was stolen. So I'm just gonna let that melt away. And then I've got a bowl here with a couple of eggs that I'm just gonna whisk together. I'm whisking the eggs to combine them because we're gonna pour in this hot mixture to temper the eggs shortly but at least they're ready to go once the mixture is hot. All right, guys, it's coming to a nice little bubble here. So this is extremely hot and it can burn your skin very easily. So please be very careful. That's why I've got a nice long handle here on this pan and <laughs> try and do this. I'm gonna take it off the heat and very gradually and slowly, okay, very gradually. <laughs> Very gradually just pour it into the egg mixture while whisking because I don't want to scramble the eggs. So this is going to start cooking the eggs but temper them so that they don't curdle when we add them all back into the pot so they'll all be the same temperature. I'm just making sure it's all mixed together. And now I'm just gonna pour this right back into the pan. So now we're gonna cook this over the heat until it's really, really nice and thick. And what's gonna happen is those eggs are gonna help thicken it. The sugars are gonna caramelize and reduce and it's just gonna be absolutely delicious. And then we'll add all of the rest of the ingredients to it. All right, lovely, so it has thickened up. I'm gonna take it off the heat now. So I'm gonna add some vanilla, some lemon juice, and just a little bit of salt. And stir that together. Now, for my toasted pecans, going right in. I'm gonna stir them to coat. And toasting them brings out the aroma and the oils of the pecan, so it really accentuates their flavor. I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm gonna blend it because I wanna break up those nuts and get it really nice and creamy. I think we're done. I'll show you guys how nice this is. It almost looks like a praline to this point. Perfect, and now I'm just gonna set this off to the side and let it cool completely at room temperature, and then we'll use it for filling the cake. You'll need egg whites, maple syrup, and lots of butter. Time to make the maple icing. I'm going down the Swiss meringue route and we're going to use egg whites that I'm gonna put over some simmering water on a pot. Make sure the bottom of your bowl is not touching the water. And then we're gonna use maple syrup. Lots of it. So we're gonna whisk this and keep it cooking over this bain marie, which is a simmering water, until it reaches 68 degrees Celsius. And that's when we know it's 
a little bit cooked through and we can put it into the mixer. All right guys, it's at 68 degrees, so it is ready to be whipped. So I'm just gonna carefully take this off. Careful, it is hot. And then just pour it into the bowl. Now all we need to do is whip this mixture until we get really stiff peaks and then we're gonna be ready to add the butter. So just put it on. Oh my God, it looks like it's gonna overflow. I have this really like anxious feeling about spilling over. I'm gonna lower it. I've never seen it grow like this. Let the mixture relax for a little bit. Essentially, oh, it kind of got stiff peaks already, look at that. Bing. It's pretty much got like marshmallow. And you can blow a torch it. Ooh, it tastes like coffee. We're gonna switch to a paddle attachment, which is what we were using earlier to make the cake. So once I add the butter in, you guys are gonna see that this mixture is going to drop. And as we mix it, it'll turn into a really, really smooth batter. So I'm just gonna add a few pieces to start. And then just keep adding the butter bit by bit. Don't put it all in at once. All right, guys, icing is done. Go, I'm just scraping it. And it is just a little bit warm right now, so I'm gonna pop it in the fridge just for about five to 10 minutes to help it set up. And then we'll be ready to decorate the cake. So I'm just cutting out some maple leaves from pie crust and then I'm gonna brush them with a red egg wash that I've just made with some red food coloring and an egg yolk. Bake them at 180 until they're golden brown and they're gonna be the perfect topper for our cake. Merry Christmas. Oh, you're not gonna throw in this stuff. <laughs> oh, it's like a present. Ooh, what's this? Baileys. Baileys and knives. We're going to play a festive game. Try and catch as many rings as you can on your antlers while singing the Canadian National Anthem. I forgot! Cool! Can I just tie it? <laughs> oh Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love in all, in all of us command. Catch on bus and for telepay. God keep our land glorious and free. <laughs> we stand on guard for thee. Yay! That was harder than it looks. <laughs> we've got our cakes ready, we've got our icing, we've got our filling, I've got the pie crust back here. It is time to build this cake. So first up, I've got one layer of cake on a nice spinny table here, and I'm gonna put a ring of icing around the edge, a nice thick one. And what this does is acts as a barrier so that I can put some delicious pecan filling in the center, and it won't spill out the sides. It's an icing wall, basically. Think of it as the wall. Cool. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the center, just a touch, smooth it out. All right. So that's one layer, partially done. Now we're gonna go in with our filling and I've just transferred it to a piping bag here so it's easier to pipe into the center. Look at that. It's like a nice little paste. And that's it. And I'm just gonna put just a couple drops of icing just to help the next layer of cake stick to it. Cool. Now layer number two. So when you're placing your layers of cake, you wanna make sure that the flat layer is on top so that it stays flat and even. And then we're gonna repeat and do the same thing on this layer. And then our final third layer. So the final cake layer is on. Now we can pipe icing around the outside. And you just wanna make sure that you have an even layer across. Now, I'm just gonna flatten the top here. And be gentle, you don't wanna press down too much or your cakes will sludge out. And you can do a crumb coat before you do this. What I'm gonna do now is use my scraper here that has a flat edge, and that's gonna help me smooth the side. All right, so the cake is nice and smooth. It's got some pretty crisp edges here. We're ready to decorate the top. I'm gonna go back in with the icing, same star tip, and I'm just gonna put some rosettes in. All right, so I'm gonna do my first one at 12 o'clock, and then the next one is gonna be at six o'clock and then one in between each one of those. And what this does is helps you even out the spacing between all of them so that they are perfectly spaced and gorgeous. Now, next up, I'm gonna put some more of our beautiful, delicious 
pecan filling, buttercup filling in the center. And another Ode to Canada, another decoration that we've got here are the beautiful maple leaves. So these are made from a really delicious buttery pie crust to represent the buttery pie crust that a butter tart is made. Now all that's left is some toasted pecans to sprinkle on top to just show that it's got some more pecans in it. Perfect. And that's it guys. We've got the cake. And here it is. The butter tart Christmas cake with layers of spiced cake, butter tart filling and a maple frosting. Now let's slice it. Oh my goodness. This is a tall cake. Slicing up really nicely. You guys ready to see the inside? I am. I'd love to see the layers of cakes. Oh yeah, look. We've got layers of the butter tart filling inside. We've got the frosting. Nice sponge cake layers. Wow, look at all the beautiful layers. You can see the butter tart filling, the maple frosting, the delicious spiced cake. Standing nice and tall, which is just what we want, and all of our decorations on top. Let me show you guys the inside of the cake. Look at that. This is something to be proud of. Definitely a showstopper for Christmas. One full of flavor that everybody will enjoy. And let me confirm that by tasting. So gooey. butter tart filling is my most favorite new filling now ever it's so nutty sweet caramelly buttery you can taste the maple you got the spices this is an absolute winner for Christmas and guys make sure you put this on your Christmas menu because you'll be the favorite family member forever thanks for watching another episode of bake in Merry Christmas and happy holidays I hope you guys enjoyed visiting my home country Canada with this beautiful cake. Make sure to stay tuned for next week's episode to see where we're going next. Bye. Oh my gosh. It's as tall as you are. Getting there. <laughs> Getting there. Oh my god. <laughs> I've not even finished and I'm going in again. That is incredible. Oh my god, it's so Christmassy. I love it. It's delicious. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> And today we're gonna to be inspired by a land of maple syrup, Beavers, Drake, Justin Bieber, Celine Dion. I lost my plot. The insp mm. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. True, pay your love in all of us, come on. Thanks again for watching another episode of Bake In. If you guys like baking just as much as I do, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss another episode. See you later. <laughs> don't say that. See you later, guys.